Hi, Jeff Allen here. I've been asked by uh, one of my contacts on LinkedIn to explain the difference of how I see LinkedIn as it was back in the old days, back in 2005 when I started using it, and today in, in uh, 2024. Um, I, the first thing is I, when I started using LinkedIn in 2005, um, I was working in a telecom company and I was sharing a lot of, I was participating a lot in the groups Back then, it was questions and answers. It wasn't groups. It was before the groups started. Questions and answers. Now, what I would do is I would spend uh, some time during my day, probably an hour, to answer as many questions as I could on a variety of topics to share my knowledge. And what that happened from that was that there would be a lot of, uh, a lot of votes for good answer and best answer. And... The result of that, uh, uh, which was interesting, was not only they got the, the, the people that were saying it was good and good at best answer, but those people started reaching out to, to add, ask me to be a connection. I mean, I was getting 200 a week, right? At least, maybe a couple, maybe 100 a day. Because people saw that, that I wanted to share uh, on a number of, uh, a number of different fields, and I was I was grouped in. You were um, this was before groups. I was allowed to. Uh, you could answer as many questions as you want in any field, and that resulted in a lot of connections. Um, two years later, uh, in two thousand seven, I was in business development and sales, and uh, I had five thousand five hundred contacts. So at that point in time, LinkedIn, when LinkedIn and contacted me to say that I was one of the number one users, super users in France. They wanted to interview me, and they sent a, a business magazine, an ex sponsor magazine, out to, to interview me on the Champs-Élysées. And I said, LinkedIn is a great resource for contacts. Um, I don't sell on LinkedIn. I use LinkedIn to try to uh, uh, find people to reach out to them and, and uh, try to sell the products. I was products and service I was offering. Uh, as a, as a follow-up. And, uh, but what I found at that point in time, because I had so many, uh, contacts and I use user already had a lot of endorsements. And by then I had probably oh, 50 or so recommendations, uh, which I have 115 today and about 12 years ago, which was in 2010, I had uh, 89, 89 uh, written recommendations. And uh, I was said at that point, I, I was using LinkedIn to actually get jobs uh, in the sense of not using it as a resume or a CV, but using it for recommendations to get people of my past jobs or current jobs at the time, could be my bosses, could be my colleagues, could be my customers to recommend me. And that led to a lot of recommendations, uh, which have which has been a significant part of my use of LinkedIn over the number of years because I've changed my jobs and all that. And I've used LinkedIn every single time. And that could be changing jobs between companies and be changing jobs, just roles within the same company to other services and departments. So that's how I've been using, that's continued on. And, uh, and even in my recent past roles, um, uh, even in a role I did a year ago, I went over to another department uh, for uh, six months. I was lent over to another department. I used LinkedIn for that. And the other jobs I've applied for internally at uh, where my company I work for, I've used LinkedIn, my list of all my recommendations, say, this is what others think about me. Um, with 115 of them, that usually works pretty well. So I don't have to talk about myself. I just let my customers and colleagues talk about me, right? With the rec LinkedIn recommendations, so that was that's been up till now. Uh, today, uh, uh, the, the the my LinkedIn network continues to grow. I'm getting very close to twelve thousand contacts. A lot of recruiters uh, that are on there, and now people come to me can say, "Can you put me in contact with someone else?" And if I know them, I'll do it. Right? Uh, the recommendations are still very valid. Endorsements as well. I only endorse people that I know. And I've worked with. I never endorse anyone that I've that I've not worked with, and I never recommend anybody I've not worked with. I won't do that, uh, just for ethical reasons, right? Um, uh, today, I use. I've been in a lot of groups, so the groups feature started in about two thousand eight, two thousand nine, if I recall. 
uh, at least in 2009, because I was doing a lot of groups. I was in 50 groups maximum in 2009. And I, I participated in a lot of groups uh, in 50 different, you can be, attend different 50 groups, so you participate. So I attended, I, w I was in them, and, I was, and I've changed the groups, and I've participated in a lot of them, and I've got lots of posts up in LinkedIn in the different groups. The groups have kind of dwindled down. I've seen the, the, the activity in them have disappeared. I think that's because of the, all the other social media there are lots of other places that you can participate in groups, Facebook and elsewhere, um, and other forum for us, foreign forums. So it kind of depends. That, but it, it, LinkedIn's kind of calmed down quite a bit uh, to where I don't even participate much anymore because there's not there's people aren't interacting so much anymore, and a lot of spam. There's a lot of spam in the groups too, so that that doesn't that causes the people not to participate much. How am I LinkedIn today? more. I've used LinkedIn to make posts about projects I'm working on or things I'm doing to actually to promote uh, different uh, events that I'm sponsoring or working on. Uh, the Gloss Talks in 2015, I did a lot. I did, did some measurements of how, how the social media, Twitter at the time, Facebook, LinkedIn, and all that combined with, uh, combined with um, YouTube allowed me to promote some of the events uh, that I was, they were called Gloss Talks. It was a series of different uh, kind of talks, uh, inviting, uh, inviting people to come in and talk about a certain topic and promoting that. And I was able to measure that and give conference talks about how that was going. So it's allowed me to do the events, to measure them and to talk about them at conferences and to, that promotes LinkedIn and all these different social media. Uh, some of the projects I've worked on, uh, I post about them, the, all the product videos I've worked on for all the voiceovers, I've done a lot of those, and I've posted them all on LinkedIn uh, when they come out. I've done you know, dozens and dozens of those over the years, probably 100 and 150. Uh, what are the things I'm using LinkedIn for? Um, uh, the Probably the more recent ones uh, is collaborating and finding people, reaching out to people, in the network, finding people on certain topics when I and helping people to find jobs. So I, I when I have students looking for internships, I do that a lot, helping people out and reach out to my community and reach out, or when I'm going to go somewhere, look, reach out to people in that city, and actually talk about reach out to people I'm going to the city for like vacation and meet up with them. I use LinkedIn to do it. So lots of different reasons how I use it in today compared to in 2005. Thanks. <laughs>